So we're starting with a uh, one pound chub of breakfast sausage and 16 slices of bacon. Now Eric is going to fill this one gallon Ziploc freezer bag with the sausage and press it out so that it fills the whole bag as a sheet. Don't be afraid to touch your meat. Well, he's going to zip it up and... Yeah. Try to press out as much air as you can to zip the bag. You'll probably burp it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tim, you're going to make a lattice of 8 by 8. We've got our sheet of meat that's in our bag. We've got our sheet of bacon that's woven together. Now I'm just going to cut the edges off this bag and then lay the sheet of meat down and peel the rest of the bag off. So we'll see how that works. So now we're going to add our stuffing and then we'll roll it up and put it in the stuffing. Well, we're going to put uh, some purple cabbage in, in this to kind of add some vegetable and some texture to it. Otherwise, I think it'll just fall apart. So uh, to cut this up, it's really not difficult. Okay, so really all you do is take a good sharp knife and cut off this end here where the tip is. Okay. Cut that and kind of pull off this this outer these outer leaves. They're, they're usually not good anyway. You don't want to eat them uh, typically because you know, people have their hands all over them. And, and anyway, they they they're the ones that go bad first. Isn't that nice? So you want this grape or aubergine? Nobody color. cares about that grape shit, Clary. <laughs> and. Okay, so just and then you just want to go ahead and sliver off some. You don't need a lot for this, but Tommy said about a fourth of this. So I just cut off about a fourth. And that's going to seem like a lot. I'm not even sure it's a fourth. Okay. okay. And maybe just a little more. I think that could be it. It's about there. Okay. And then, then just cut it up some before we put it on our, our fantastic 
and fatty. That's what we're making. And that should be enough. So we took away some of this for another dish, so we're going to take some, the remainder of this and just kind of spread it out, kind of evenly, Let's, like so. And then we'll add our next ingredient. Let's just spread it out. Oh, the next ingredient is cheese. Swiss cheese. So, we have to open this right up. I'm not going to use all of this sure. cheese. Okay. This. Just deli slices and two, four, six, eight. There's eight pieces here. So that's actually not going to work out perfectly, but we'll make it work anyway. Hope you guys like to finish. They're sitting over here. Yes. Stage. Stage one left, stage one. Right. And we're not going to use all this spinach, it's too much. Let's put a layer of it. But we'll put a layer of it down. Very clean spinach. And spinach shrinks. And that should probably be about enough. Yeah, that's, you've gone overboard. I've gone overboard, so we'll take some away. But let's spread it out. Like so. We still have to roll that up. Yeah, okay. roll it up. Okay, it's actually not too bad. Okay, so something like that. Now we're ready to roll our fatty. And I've got to roll this up while leaving the bacon on the outside and all the filling on the inside. I'll use these extra slices of bacon to kind of tuck the ends closed. That onto the smoky rack. There we go. Okay, so we're done with the fatty. It's finished. In the smoker. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's beautiful. That is one good looking fatty. Very good. Uh, oh well, uh, now we're talking about the mess in place. It's a bit messy, but uh, by and large, at least it's all contained on a cleanable surface. And this is some more of our mess in place. It includes our dishes from the uh, pie and from the fatties and from the other meats. And uh, what could we do better? Um, Really nothing. It's, we're pretty efficient with the dishes, so we're pretty good. We just have to clean it up now. Mess in place. It's disgusting, to say the least. But uh, smoking does that to your equipment, so I'll just have. It's going to take a little time to clean this, but I'll. So that's all the fat drippings from yeah. all the meat. Right. In well, that, in well, that, well it, it's in. It had that, water. It's in, in that there. tub of water. Right. Right. So there you go. The fatty was excellent. Uh, I love the bacon in it, and you couldn't taste the vegetables as much. Um, I could taste the cheese, and I really like cheese, so that made it extra good. I thought it was really neat working on the lattice with the bacon, because uh, I had never done that before, and I thought it would be more difficult than it was, but it turned out to be pretty easy, and I was pleased with the result. It's amazing. <laughs> Everything was smoked, juicy. It's uh, finished, which I usually not into, but actually uh, really like it. Um, the fatty turned out really well, really, really well. It's a good thing I cooked it an extra 30 minutes, um, but uh, it's just so delicious. I, I really couldn't tell that there was any vegetables in it except for the, bro uh, the, um, the cabbage. Uh, the, I guess maybe we needed more spinach, I don't know, but, um, but I really couldn't tell uh, the spinach was there, but it was so rich and so delicious.
This was our second time to try to make the fatty in the smoker. And uh, the, the last time we did just uh, spinach and cheese. And it's funny that everybody said they couldn't really tell the spinach was in there. When you saw that we had overloaded with spinach when we were trying to roll it, but all that spinach uh, cooked down so much there was not very much there. The uh, cabbage really added a lot of texture. I noticed when I was eating it, uh, it didn't taste like cabbage, but man, it chewed really like cabbage. So it added an additional, uh, yeah, that chew factor that was not uh, not really there in the, the ground sausage, but a little bit from the bacon maybe. So that was really nice.